Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me very great pleasure to introduce the rest of breed winners from the working group. Can you please put your hands together as we start with the Alaskan Malamute? The Bernese Mountain Dog. The Bouvier de Flandre. The Boxer. The Bull Mastiff. The Doberman. The German Pincher. The Giant Schnauzer. The Great Dane. The Greenland Dog. The Hovervart. The Leonberger. The Mastiff. The Neapolitan Mastiff. The Newfoundland. The Portuguese Water Dog. The Rottweiler. The Russian Black Terrier. The St. Bernard. The Siberian Husky. And last, but by no means least, the Tibetan Mastiff. I'd like to hand you back to Graham Hill in the commentary box. Thank you. Thank you, Jonathan. Well, we see here 21 breeds in the working group. There are usually 22, but uh, unfortunately the Canadian Eskimo dog is not with us. So we have 21 breeds for Mr. Stuart Mar to cast his A over and select the winner, which will go on to Best in Show Challenge on Sunday night. The working group is made up of dogs that have been selectively bred over the centuries to assist man in a number of different tasks. He's been guarding, working as a draft dog or as a rescue dog. As you can see, almost all of the working dogs are large, strong, and muscular animals. They're invariably intelligent and can be trained to perform useful tasks. And the working group contains some of the bravest and most heroic dogs in the canine world. that they make such excellent guard and rescue dogs. And they also contain, this group also contains some of the most popular dog breeds. And these 21 dogs are the finalists from an overall entry in the working group of 3,137. Straight on to the individual examination of our breeds, we see here the Alaskan Malamute. Mr. J.M. Broadbury was the breed judge, and he received an entry of 135, for which he selected this pitch for his best of breed. And her number is 11164. This breed hails from the rugged western area of Alaska. Originating in the United States of America, the Alaskan Malamute was named after the Malamot Inuit Eskimos living on the Arctic coast of western Alaska. 
This breed was used as a draft animal long before Europeans visited the Americas. Although, as you can see, the breed is wolf-like in appearance, the Alaskan Malamut is an affectionate dog. The breed thrives on activity and excels in sled racing competitions. This is the best of breed Alaskan Malamut, treble 164. This is H.E. Davenport, who's the breed judge for Burnley's Mountain Dogs today. And from an entry of 210, she selected this male, exhibit number 11289 for her best breed. This is a breed of imposing stature. The striking tricolour markings on his soft, silky coat add to his impressive appearance. The Bernese Mountain Dog originates in Switzerland and is another ancient breed. Although this breed, the Bernese, did almost disappear in the late 1800s. It's one of the most beautiful Swiss dogs. It was used by the weavers of Bern as a draft dog and also employed in herding sheep and cattle. <laughs> the Breeze Association as a draft dog also earned the name of Cheese Factory Dog. That's the best of breed Bernese Mountain Dog, 11289. And now we see the Bouvier de Flandre. This one is a bitch and is exhibit number 11460 and was selected by Mrs. Jean Lanning, all best of breed, out of an entry of 70. The origins of the breed are from the areas of Belgium and France. The breed is a robust, cattle-droving, cart-pulling farm dog and existed in a number of coats and colored varieties until 1965, when the present standard was written. And during the First World War, the French army used the Bouvier in its medical corps. A very useful dog. That's the best of breed, Bouvier de Flandre, exhibit number 11460. And here we have the Boxer. There was a large entry of 288 in the breed Therefore had two judges, one for males, this is P.A. Broughton, and bitches, this is Jane Mayer. The boxer originated in Germany in the 1850s and was first used for guarding and bull baiting. That's the best of breed. Boxer, exhibit number 11615. There were 178 bull mastiffs with us today, and Mr. E. Grant selected this male for best of breed, exhibit number 11773. This is the breed that originated here in Great Britain around the 1800s and was developed from 60% English Mastiff and 40% Bulldog. The breed was produced to act as a gamekeeper's assistant with the ability to chase and immobilize poachers on large estates. He's naturally intelligent and observant and is easily trained but likes to have a reason for doing things.
This is the best of breed Bullmaster, exhibit number 11773. See the Doberman. This was another breed that uh, had two judges today. This is L. Rock, judge of the males, and Miss A. L. Lonsdale, the bitches. <laughs> this one is a male, and we selected his best of breed. Exhibit number 12051. In Germany. Best of Reed Doberman, exhibit number 12051. And now we see the German Pincher. Mr. Tegwin Jones was a breed judge, and from an entry of 18, he selected this bitch as best of breed, exhibit number 12269. The breed name implies it originated in Germany sometime in the 1700s. But it wasn't officially recognized by the German Kennel Club until 1879. <laughs> this breed, which is tall, terrier like, Looks evolved as a traditional farmer's multi purpose dog. In fact, the word pincher in German means terrier. That's the best of breed German pincher, exhibit number 12269. And now we see the giant schnauzer. This is Anne Arch, was the breed judge, and there was a breed entry of 70, made by 66 exhibits. This one is a male, and his exhibit number is 12284. This is the largest and most powerful of the German schnauzers. And this reliable dog was developed by increasing the size of the standard schnauzer. It originated around the Middle Ages and was a commonly used herding breed in southern Germany. In the latter part of the 19th century, it became very popular as a droving dog and guard later became a breed widely used for police and security work in Europe. Giant Schnauzer, exhibit number 12284. And here we see the national dog of Germany, the Great Dane. This is J.M. MacDonald, was the breed judge, and from an entry of 245, she selected this bitch as best to breed. Exhibit number 12348. Its origins can almost certainly be traced to the dogs brought to Europe by the Scythian tribes from what is now Asian Russia. These fighting mastiffs were probably crossed with greyhounds, producing the elegant and gentle breed we see here today. The breed has been used as a war dog and large mammal hunting. Today, it's mainly used as a companion or guarding dog. The Great Dane was introduced to the United Kingdom in 1877. <laughs> this is the best of breed Great Dane, exhibit number 12348. see a breed originating in Greenland, the Greenland dog. 
Mr. S. W. Meyer and Mr. Breed Judge. From his entry, he selected this mail as best to Breed. 12564. The breed in its nature, uh, nature originated in Greenland and uh, it is traditionally employed as an all-purpose haulage dog. The ancestry of the breed can be possibly traced back to dogs accompanying people from Siberia well over 12,000 years ago. The Greenland dog is not as heavy as the Canadian Eskimo dog but is often slightly taller. He can be used for sled pulling, guarding, and as a watchdog. And as well as being in the show ring, today the breed is used for sled racing and hunting. <laughs> this is our best of breed, Greenland Dog, exhibit number 12564. Here we see the best of breed hobble heart. This is G. Stockton was the breed judge. There was an entry of 43, from which he selected this bitch's best of breed, exhibit number 12580. This is a breed of considerable antiquity, having been known for many centuries as a guard dog, mainly of the farmyard. He hails from the Black Forest regions of Germany and was first recognized by the German Kennel Club in 1937. This breed has only been seen in the United Kingdom in the last decade or so. It is now only emerging as a truly recognizable breed. trainable breed with a good nose and an ability to hunt. That's the best of breed Hop of Art, exhibit number 12580. And next to be seen by Mr. Mallard is the Leon Burger. This is Jay Davy, who's the breed judge, and from an entry of 186, selected its bitch as her best of breed. Her exhibit number is 12743. As the name implies, this breed hailed from Leonberg in, in Germany. And in the early 1800s, the mayor of Leonberg, Alderman Heinrich Essig, wished to produce, wishing to produce a dog resembling a lion on the imperial coat of arms of the town hall of Leonberg in Germany, used the Landseer, Newfoundland, St. Bernard, and Pyrenean Mountain Dog to create this distinguished breed. As you can see, the breed is a strikingly handsome dog. An inveterate swimmer, it is willing to dog paddle in the coldest of waters. This is our best of breed, Leon Berger, exhibit number 12743. And here we have the best of breed, Mastiff. Mr. W.F. Tuber, who's the breed judge. There was 119 entries here at Crafts this year. And this male was judged to be best of breed. His exhibit number is 12819. The Mastiff breed existed in Great Britain over 2,000 years ago and was exported to Rome as a military and fighting dog. This is a very intelligent breed, not excitable, but affectionate towards his owner and requires plenty of human contact and of course, plenty of good food. The name of 
mastiff probably evolved from the Anglo-Saxon word masli, meaning powerful. And the breed is one of the largest dogs in the world. This is the best of breed master, exhibit number 12819. And now we see the Neapolitan master. Mr. B.W. Cadogan was the breed judge. There was a, an entry of 38. And this bitch was selected best of breed, exhibit number 12904. The Neapolitan Mastiff was bred originally to fight in the arena, but over the years has seen service as a war dog, a police dog, a guard dog, and a draft dog. Yet it was not until 1946 that the breed was seen as a show in, in Naples. This is a breed that does not need a, a lot of walking exercise, but his messy eating manners and sheer size make it a difficult dog to keep inside a house. This is the best of breed Neapolitan Mastiff, 12904. And here we have the Newfoundland. Mr. T.J. Heath Richards was the breed judge. There was an overall breed entry of 262. And this male was selected as best of breed. Exhibit number 12919. A gentle giant, this large, strong, heavily built dog combines great gentleman, great gentleness with a mild guarding instinct. The breed originated in Canada in the 1700s. Originally used in cock fisheries to pull nets ashore and to pull boats. Today, teams of Newfoundlands are used in France to assist the emergency services in sea rescue. Exhibit number 12919. And now we see a recent newcomer to the United Kingdom, the Portuguese water dog. There were 50 in the breed entries here today, and this is H. Irving. Selected this male for best of breed. Exhibit number 13192. As the breed name implies, it originates in Portugal. And this was sometime in the Middle Ages. The breed is an ancient breed of fisherman's dog used to pull nets in the water and to take messages from boat to boat. And also on land, it was a useful rabbiter. as you see here, in a distinctive way, is in order to prevent the hind legs from dragging while swimming and to protect its chest and body from thermal shock and cold water. This is the best debris Portuguese water dog, 13192.
And now we see the Rottweiler. There was a husband and wife team judging the breed today. The dogs were judged by Mrs. Jay Killerly. <laughs> and which is by Mr. D. Killerly. And there was an overall entry of 405. This bitch was made best of breed, and her exhibit number is 13224. That's the best of breed, Rottweiler, 13224. And here we have the Russian Black Terrier. Mr. H.J. O'Donoghue was the breed judge. There was a breed entry of 71, and this male was selected as best of breed. Exhibit number 13612. This is another breed which is a relative newcomer to the show in the United Kingdom. The breed was developed obviously in Russia. And this was developed at the Soviet Union's Red Star Army Kennels in the 1940s by crossing the giant schnauzer, Airedale Terrier, Rottweiler and perhaps other breeds. A dog used both as a companion and a guard. was recognized in the United Kingdom in 1998. This is our best of breed Russian Black Terrier 13612. And here we have the St. Bernard. There are 82 entries here at Crafts 2008, and this is Barbara Swain Williams, who was the breed judge. And from her entry, she selected this male as best of breed, exhibit number 13635. The modern day St. Bernard ranks among the most massive of all the dogs. And is arguably the most famous of the rescue dogs. Legend depicts this huge dog bounding through snow in its home country of Switzerland with a small keg of brandy fastened to his collar. It was reputed to rescue snowbound travelers. muscular giant. That's our best of breed St. Bernard, exhibit number 13635. And here, here we have the Siberian Husky. It was a breed entry of 262, made by 245 exhibits. And this male was made best of breed by our judge, Mr. K.F. Greenland. His exhibit number is 13811. Smaller and lighter than most other breeds of sled dog, the elegant Siberian Husky is agile, athletic, and a tireless worker. This breed seldom, seldom barks, but engages in communal howling, much like wolves. A dignified, gentle breed, makes a pleasant companion. <laughs> this breed also goes by the name of Arctic Husky. This is the best of breed Siberian Husky, 13811. first breed in this group, the Tibetan Mastiff. Another breed judged today by Mr. H.J. O'Donoghue, who incidentally comes from ERA. 
was a breed entry of 58 in this male. 13986 was judged to be best of breed. This breed obviously originates in Tibet, and this was many, many centuries ago. The once protected livestock in the Himalayas and Tibet and is now a European bred show dog. Still quite uncommon, but established as a breed throughout Europe. He's easygoing and affably aloof. Best of breed Tibetan Mastiff 1398. 13986. With the individual examination of each of our best of breed winners here in the working group completed. As is usual, Mr. Mallard will have another walk around the line and in fact will start to pull out his shortlist. First to come out is the Bouvier de Flandre, the Doberman, the Giant Schnauzer, the Great Dane, the Leonberger, the Newfoundland, the St. Bernard, and the Tibetan Mastiff. And our other best of breed winners leave the ring. Can I ask you to show your appreciation of their success here at Cups 2008? See, we have eight shortlisted breeds, from which Mr. Mallard will select his best in group. I will rep represent this group in Sunday night's best in show. Each is to be moved again. Led off by the Bouvier de Flandre, 11460. And the Dobermann, 12051. Here we have the Giant Schnauzer, 12284. And now the Great Dane, 12348. And now the new founder, one two nine one nine. And now the Supreme, one two six three five. And 
finally, but by no means least, the Tibetan Mastiff, 13986. seem to move again, and out come our award boards. Decisions made. The winner of the Working Group Crafts 2008 is the Giant Nightstar. One, two, three, eight, four. And group two. The new family. One, two, nine, one, nine. And group three, it's the Great Dane. One, two, three, four, eight. And group four, the Bouvier de Flandre. One, one, four, six, zero. Well, we have our four winners, but can I ask you to show your appreciation to the other four shortlisted breeds? I just shake your hand and they will leave, leave now in the room. As our judge goes to his winner, can I ask you to welcome the presenter of the trophy, the Sen Trophy? It's Mr. Roger Gale, Member of Parliament for North Thanet. And he's escorted into the ring by Mr. Bill Hardaway, the Vice Chairman of the Kennel Club. So, you see our winner, the Giant Schnauzer, 12284. To our two group, uh, group two, the new founder, 12919. And group three, the Great Dane, 12348. And group four, the Bouvier de Flandre, 11460. As our winners do their lap of honour, and I ask again to you to show your appreciation to the winner of the Working Group Crafts 2008, the Giant Schnauzer. One, two, two, eight, four.